<clears throat> Hello everybody, this is Drew, uh, and I am here to show you the um, newest update to my plugin, the Uncrafting mod, the Uncrafting plugin, uh, revised, of course. Um, so I've added quite a few features to uh, the plugin, such as uh, it. It dynamically updates the uh, the uh, recipe list for all um, Minecraft plugin uh, Minecraft uh, registered recipes. Uh, so let's see if I just this is another plugin I have um, that I've created. It's a warp home or a just warp plugin. Um, I may or may not release that sometime. Let's go into my base. And here we are. Uh, this is actually the second time I've recorded this because the first time my uh, my audio didn't record. Okay, so this is um this is the crafting table that I have. Um, I click a lever and it throws a diamond block under it. Um, and I will be, uh, in the next version, I'll probably add a config for uh, the block that is used uh, underneath uh, the crafting table. Uh, so that hopefully will be in the next version, maybe. Uh, but as you can see, um, this is also 1.13. Um, but I have added stuff, you know, all, everything so you can throw that in. Most of them, it'll get the actual, like, shape correct. Um, but, like, if you were to throw in a, like, a crafting table, that's actually the only one I've noticed, uh, one of the few that I've noticed that doesn't actually do the right shape. See, this does this one, it should be that. Um, but that's, that's really not that big of a deal. Um, but like I have sticky pistons in here, which of course give you a regular piston, and then the regular piston equals that, and it should be able to differentiate between, uh, different planks. Of course, this is oak, which is always been enabled, but it'll turn into the bol the log. Um, let's get some. Oh, I'm in creative, aren't I? Uh, let's get some regular. Let's get some jungle. Let's see if this works. It should. Yeah, and there you go. Give you give jungle uh, wood from jungle planks, which was. Um, it was going to be a pain to do if I had to actually manually add each and every one of them. Um, but this is this is nice. Um, there was a bug in the initial release that I released uh, roughly two days ago, and that bug was you actually, if you were to load this on a server, um, get on and try and use it, it, it wouldn't work because. Um, the plugin loaded before the recipes loaded, um, which was why I kept getting a lot of crashes and stuff like that because it was uh, returning a null pointer exception, which means it couldn't find uh, any recipes. Um, but I fixed that by having it look um, look for, well, originally I fixed it by saying if it throws an all pointer exception, replace the recipe with air, um, which fixed it, but then I realized it didn't actually, it just replaced everything with air. Um, so what I ended up doing was having it, uh, load the recipes when the, uh, first player joins. Um, so that actually has fixed uh, the issue, um, and that version should be available relatively soon, just being uh, authenticated by Bucket Team or whatever. Um, 
So yeah, by the time this video goes up, it should be ready for download for 1.13.2. And sorry it took me so long to update it to this version. I was actually waiting for uh, Forge to update before I updated this, but uh, sadly Forge, I do not believe, is ever going to update again. Um, which sucks, but I just like playing with Optifine, that's all. But Optifine's now in a different version, so that's, that's fine. Um, but yeah, uh, that is that is the gist. Um, and again, the work plugin I may be adding, type, um, I may be adding sometime soon to uh, to Bucket. It's just a simple warp that I've made because I really, really didn't like the other warp plugins. Um, but this one also adds stuff like warp random, which is really, really nice. And it will find uh, the lowest block. But anyway, um, that has been this update. Um, thank you, and please enjoy it.